This is my final attempt to find a real autograph from a Jarellin XL 2024. I'm opening my last 15 limited edition packs to try and find one. Wish me luck. Okay, so I've got 15 packs ready. These are the last ones I have. I'll probably never open these again. I found plenty of printed ones. No real autograph, unfortunately. I know they are very, very rare. I don't expect one, but it will be very nice. And of course, we have moved on to the Adrenaline XL Plus collection, which we'll be opening from now on. All right, our first one is Liverpool Defender Virgil van Dijk. I'm pretty sure can't have one. And there is the beast. He is quite rare, though. He doesn't really, he doesn't really pop up often. Hopefully, we can get at least a few printed ones from this because they have got a little bit of value, which is cool. All right, Arsenal midfielder Erdogan. Again, I don't think he has one. He's also quite rare. And there is just the base one of Martin Erdegaard. I have made a lot of short videos trying to find an autograph from this collection and failed. So, oh, we've got a printed one. Les Ferdinand, they've got three or four of him already. But welcome to the collection, another printed Les Ferdinand. So one printed, you've probably done well already. They're usually about one in seven for the printed. And we get two in a row, Brennan Johnson. The last short video I made trying to find one, I got Brennan Johnson. Signature limited edition. And we've got him again here. Fantastic. No longer with Forest, and now with Spurs, but it's still nice to have. So will the third one be a real one? Two printed to warm up and then a real signature. I'll take that. Main United Defender, Luke Shaw. It is a third printed signature in a row. That's nice. Very I never noticed how weird his autograph is. It's just like an S with a squiggle on it. But still, printed signature, Luke Shaw. Can we make it four printed signatures in a row? West Ham forward is Jared Bowen. He can have a real one, but it is just the base and our streak has ended. We've already beaten the odds with three in 15 and we've still got quite a few packs left to open. So Everton midfielder, Alex Awobi, you can have one as well, but that is just the base one. Of course, Alex Awobi now with Fulham. He's moved on from Everton, so we're not autograph with Everton, not as valuable. Newcastle four, which I think is Isaac. I don't think he can have one. No, just the base of Alexander Isaac. So we had a very good middle to the video, three signatures in a row. We might not get another one at all. All right, Isaac again, who I don't think he can have one, and it is just the base one. I've been opening these for ages. Two or three a week. Finally, I've seen the back of them. All right, here is Jimmy and Floyd Hanselman. Legend cards, all of them can have a printed or a real one. I would love a real autograph of Jimmy and Floyd Hanselman. Let's see what we have. It is just the base one though. I do like the base legends though. Okay, on to our next limited edition, which is a Burnley midfielder, Josh Brownhill. Doesn't have one. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have one, but there is Josh Brownhill, basic limited edition. Down to our last four. Now, can we add another printed one? Which would be fantastic. It is Hasselbank, again, probably the most common of the legends, him and Les Ferdinand. All legends can be printed or real ones. So what do we have? And it is just the base again of Hasselbank. One more printed one. Or a real one. It would be fantastic. Brighton forward, Danny Wilbeck. He can have a real autograph. But it is just the base of Danny Welbeck running out of packs now. The penultimate pack, and then I've got only one more left, and I'll never open these again. Welbeck again. Second time lucky, Danny Welbeck. No, it is just the base one again. Oh, Welbeck. This is my last ever limited edition pack for Adrenaline XL 2024. I'm a little bit emotional. Not really. Let's see what's inside this. Can we get a printed one to end? All right, Man United defender Luke Shaw. We got his printed one earlier. I can't remember if we can have a real one, but it is just the base this time of Luke Shaw. So that's it for this video. I've never opened one of those packs again. We didn't find a real autograph card, but we did get three printed signatures, which is really good. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.